you for calling GEICO. Your call may be monitored and or recorded. Please listen carefully as our menu options have recently changed. Thank you for calling GEICO. This is your personal agent, Carly Lynch. Can I check your policy number, please? Hi, Carly. How are you today? I'm great. How about you? Good. I don't have my policy number in front of me, but I can give you my social if you need it. Absolutely. I can go ahead and take your social. Okay. All right, one moment. I'll set that for you. And who do I have the pleasure of speaking with today? It's Johnny. And your last name? Dixon, D I X O N. Fantastic. And for your security tonight, please get your date of birth. 81562. All right, perfect. And how can I provide you with outstanding service today? Um, I need to find out why I was never asked or and. I need to add under and over under or non insured driver onto um, the car we have right now. Oh, okay, no problem. I can absolutely help you with adding that that coverage. It'll be just a few moments. I get everything set up. All right. All right. Yeah, we've registered several cars over the last years, and I was always you know, the last two have been at a car dealer, and I was always asked. The driver, the mileage, who would be driving the car in that. And then we added my daughter from college. And mm -hmm. um, I've just been reading through everything. And I never rejected uh, uh, underinsured or non-insured. And I'm just wondering why it was put on there. And I was never asked about it. So you're, you're talking about the uninsured motorist and the bodily, the uninsured motorist bodily injury and underinsured motorist bodily injury? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay. I can definitely go ahead and help you add that to your policy today. I'm so sorry about that confusion and I don't, I want to make sure you're properly protected. All right. Okay. Just a few moments. And I'll just need to know the difference too. Is it's not that much more expensive, is it? I can definitely look into how much it's going to be. It'll be just a few moments. Okay. All right. So to add the uninsured motorist bodily injury and the underinsured motorist bodily injury, it would just raise your premium to six hundred and sixty-two dollars uh, every six months, which is just a slight increase of sixty-six dollars every six months. Okay, which is so, about ten bucks. About eleven. <coughs> eleven dollars. If you're counting by the month. Okay. Um. You want to go ahead and do that, and um, because I was pretty shocked when I noticed I didn't have it. Um, oh. What a, what is what is the the procedure on a quote or something like that? I mean, if it's not mentioned at all, is that something where it just gets rejected and it's not put on there, or? Um, I've got these cars are from, you know, these are from car dealers. So when I ask for full, full coverage, um, I, they never talk about, uh, limits to me or anything like that as far as, uh, 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 you know, coverage to the car or, or, or coverage to the, uh, to the liability or the, the, the injury. And, um, I end up with minimum on everything and then a rejected, uh, statement on my, which I barely, I, I never look in the mail. I always do online. And I mm -hmm. went through the mail one, and it said that I was, I rejected it, and I didn't never reject it or or signed anything or anything like that. So I'm not sure how that works. Absolutely, I'm so sorry about that confusion. I do want to make sure that I look into this for you. So it'll be just a few moments, and I'm just going to check on that. Okay. Yep. I'm so sorry about the miscommunication. I'm just going to put you on a free hold to make sure that I get the check on it. Okay. Okay. Thank you. how financially vulnerable they could be in the event of a serious liability accident. Why risk losing everything? Ask about GEICO's umbrella coverage for added peace of mind at a cost that's a lot less than you might think. Ask your insurance professional. To All right, thank you so much for holding. I do appreciate that. I did go ahead and look into it. So in order for us to reject that coverage, we do require our policyholders to sign the rejection form. It's a requirement from Arizona. So it must have been signed maybe a long time ago, either by you or your wife. But I do assure you that next time you receive a quote, it will be on your policy. Those those coverages will be on your policy. And I'm so sorry about the miscommunication. All right, can you, you can you take a look through there and see if I if I have some kind of signed form through there that I've signed? I can take a look. Yeah, let me just take a look. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. I'm still looking. It'll be just a few more moments. I'm sure there's plenty of years to look through there. <laughs> <laughs> About five or probably six or seven different vehicles, and like I said, I don't, I don't, I never signed anything, so it's just kind of weird, a little bit weird. 
All right, so I am looking for further into it. So it'll be just a few more moments. I'm just going to put you on a brief hold so I can review into it further, okay? Okay. Thank you so much. All right, thank you so much for holding. I do apologize about that wait. No worries. I did go ahead and review into it, and I saw that all the way back when the policy first started, it was started without those coverages. Okay, so so from the beginning, from Geico, no matter how many vehicles, I never signed anything that said that I I would support and or reject un unlicensed or un underinsured drivers. We would have been uh, able to start the policy without having that that paper signed or the. Okay, I'm saying, do you, do you have the do you have the paper there? I, did you find it? This is what I'm saying. No, we didn't find it, but uh, we would be able to start with the rejected with the rejected coverages. Okay, but, well, you're uh, saying I needed to sign something, and I've never signed anything, so that's why I'm a little confused as to why it was put on there, and I was never offered it for seven vehicles later, and it just no, seemed absolutely. it I seemed. It seems a little confusing to me, and now I'm adding it. It's you know something I probably should have had the entire time if I was offered it. But um, I and again, you don't have anything signed at all in my whole record that says that I rejected it. I don't have any papers that I could find right now uh, because it was started about seven years ago. But we wouldn't have been able to to continue rejecting without the paper signed. I do apologize. I know I I know you said that you didn't sign it. Maybe. If it was a mis miscommunication or a misunderstanding, but we would continue to be able to to reject those coverages without that paper sign. Okay. Well, I, I need I need I need some kind of proof of that. Then it's something like that. It's got to be somewhere. If it's in there, it's in my record. I got to have some way of proving that 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 I I wasn't covered for all this. I mean, I just want to be able to cover my ass um, as to why why. So you're saying that somewhere out there there's a paper, but you don't have it. <laughs> I'm a little confused. No, I do. I do apologize. I don't want you to be confused. Let me look into that, finding that paper, all right? Let me just a few moments and put your every We all appreciate right. your patience and apologize for the delay. Please continue to hold, and an insurance professional will be with you shortly. All right, thank you so much for holding. I'm still further reviewing it and looking all the way back into our records. So it'll be just a few more moments. All right, I can, I can honestly tell you I've never done anything but on the phone with you guys, so I've never put a pen to anything. Um, and I, <laughs> so, uh, as far as you coming up with something I've signed, I mean, I've never returned a document. I mean, it's always been on the phone. So, um, you know, as far as when I, every time that I, that I call up and say, well, I've got a new vehicle and I want to get a policy on it. Isn't that something that should be, um, conversed with me? Like every time that I add a vehicle, shouldn't it be, do you want this? Do you want that? What are your, what limits do you want? What, uh, you know, what kind of coverage? And I just don't ever get those kind of questions. No, I, I completely understand. I am very sorry about the, the miscommunication. When when the policy has the coverages rejected, we don't talk about them because we have we automatically assume that we got the form. So I'm still looking for any forms that I'm looking for any forms that you may have been mailed out or mailed back in. So I I understand that you said you haven't mailed any in. I just want to make sure if you have mailed any out to you. Okay. So well. Just a few more moments, okay? Okay. Thank you so much. It's been more convenient. You can log on to geico.com to make payments. All right, thank you so much for holding in. So sorry about that wait. So I did go ahead and look into it, and I, I do apologize. I gave you the wrong information in the beginning. Arizona doesn't require any option forms to be signed in return. I do, I'm really sorry about that, that I said that. Um, so it may have been said over the phone that you didn't want those, those coverages, or if your spouse called in and said she didn't want those coverages, it could have been, could have been that as well. Uh, but after we had those coverages rejected, we we wouldn't we wouldn't discuss that those coverages again because well, we we would assume as our agents we would assume that you already knew that they were rejected and we would just leave them at that. All right, but there's there, I mean, okay, so you, first you're saying that they should have been signed, and now you're saying that that it was something verbal, but there's really no proof that it was signed or that anything was said, and it just was put on there. Because my wife has never spoken to you guys. It's always been me. And I'm, it's never been anything that's been brought up with me. So um, I'm just, I'm, I'm confused as how it's handled. I think maybe that when someone adds a vehicle, it should be something that should be talked about and, and brought up, mm -hmm. being that it's such a problem today. And uh, as far as Arizona is concerned or that, I mean, you were pretty sure that it was something I had to sign. I was pretty sure myself too. So. <laughs> I do apologize. In Arizona, I know I did say that there was something that you needed to sign. That's why I looked into it. In Arizona, you really, you don't have to have anything signed. 
So that's why we don't have anything on record that you signed anything. It could have just been maybe they asked you a question and it was misunderstood and you agreed, you maybe agreed to it and they didn't, they didn't further uh, explain it to you. But I'll go ahead and pass that along. That's something that we should discuss because I do understand that you don't, uh, you want to be properly protected and covered. And I do assure you that now I do have those policies, uh, coverages on, so you will be covered from here on out. Okay, so if, I mean, there's really, there's no proof that I rejected anything. That's what that I mean. There's no proof that I rejected anything. It's just something that's that's was maybe said seven years ago. <laughs> that's what you're telling me. Yeah, I do apologize. The papers we send out it does have the, the confirmation that those were rejected. I do apologize. I know you said that you didn't really look at them so much, so maybe that's why nobody caught on to it. Okay, so so, so it's it's still it's still something that might have been said seven years ago. Yeah. Which sounds to me like something needs to be changed about that. That's for sure. No, absolutely. I do agree. I do apologize. And I'm going to make sure that I pass it along so that somebody knows that it does need to be to be talked about. But now, like I said, you do have those, those coverages on your policy, so you will be protected from here on out. All right. And you will get a confirmation of change. That's all within the next 24 hours about what we did. Okay. All right. I appreciate your help. What was your first, what was your name again? It is, uh, my name's Carly, and I just want to go over your billing really quick, just so you know what the difference is. What's your, what, what's your last name, Carly? It's Lynch, L-Y-N-C-H. Do you have a, a, a number there that I could reach you directly so I don't have to go over this all again once I talk to somebody? No, I don't have a direct number, but I'll go ahead and make a note in the policy so that they know further. 